After having a ball in Chiang Mai and enjoying my stay, it was now time to head back to Chiang Rai. It was almost that time, that's right, the countdown for 2012, which was something I was really looking forward to. Thus far in my stay, I had visited many wonderful places and got to know more about Thai culture and traditions. I was now back with Khan Air for a quick flight back to Chiang Rai and like always the views from this aircraft were splendid. I had to keep some people comforted noting the small size of the aircraft and the fact that they couldn't help but feel too cramped and scared but for me I wouldn't have such a flight any other way. On arrival back to Chiang Rai, I decided that I had focused enough on major tourist destinations and now it was time for me to focus on getting to know more about rural Thailand. My next stop, therefore, was visiting the mountain people of Chiang Rai, known as the Akka, a hill tribe of farmers known for their artistic works and unique lifestyle. These people live scattered around the mountains of China, Laos and obviously northern Thailand where they are one of six main hill tribes, the others being the Lahu, Mien, Karen and Mong. The Akha arrived in Thailand around 1905 due to the civil war in Burma and Laos with an estimated 80,000 now living in Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai hilltop areas. The language they speak is Akha, but they also understand Thai. The Akha generally live in simple structures, bamboo and wooden built homes with separate rooms for men and women. They are excellent farmers in their own right and grow and harvest their own crops and meat and so in essence they are highly independent. We were able to speak to a few of the people who let us film their homes and them going about their everyday business. They obviously travel around in motorized automobiles including modern utes and I was especially intrigued by the presence of some degree of Christianity. But it just seemed quite interesting to see Christian influences in a predominantly Buddhist country. Although I have been told that their beliefs are a lot more complicated and involve mythology and tribal beliefs passed on from generation to generation. These people are known by Thai people as uh, Eagle. These people are no longer so impoverished and with the help of the Thai government and the royal family their standard of living has significantly improved. <laughs> 